I read, it's uh, such a wide ranging question. I think books um, are an amazing way of, of opening up the world, of learning something new um, about a different culture, for instance, or a different heritage, um, or a different community, or just even a different world. Polish literature has a lot to offer because um, it's a, a good genre. There's a lot that can be taken from Polish literature, whether it's history, uh, whether it's looking at fiction, non-fiction or cookery books. Um, I think you can get a, a good perspective. If I was going to go for a fiction, for a novel book, um, my favourite uh, of recent time has to be uh, With Blood and Scars, which was written by B.E. Andre. Um, she is a, a novelist who was born in Manchester, second generation Pole, um, and she wrote about um, a little girl called Anya, who in the book um, is 10 years old. Um, and Anya talks about her life growing up in a Manchester community, which we call Polskaland, um, which is actually a very diverse community of um, post-war immigrant children. And Anya, as a Polish girl, finds herself as one of these children. Um, and she has lots of um, different friends. Uh, and it also a sort of parallel storyline. Anya, in later life, talks to her father um, about his experiences in the Warsaw Uprising. Kuchnia Polska, it's a very traditional Polish um, recipe book. You'll probably find every single recipe you'll ever need in here, um, from soups to starters to main courses to desserts. Um, this was one of the first books that I took with me when I left home to university. Um, and it's, it's really all I had, apart from phone calls to my mama about you know, how to cook things. Uh, you know, th this was really kind of the, the beginnings of my foray into learning about Polish cooking for myself. I was actually born in, in the UK um, to Polish parents who um, emigrated or migrated after the Second World War. So my father, his brother, his elder brother and younger brother and his uh, father, my grandfather Jadek, were all in the Polish armed forces in the West. So they left Poland when they were sort of young lads. Um, they found the Polish army um, after a, a big long stint um, in Siberia. Um, and then they fought with the Polish army. Um, my dad with General Maciek and my uncles and um, grandfather in Monte Cassino. And then they um, stayed in Scotland and in Britain after the Second World War. So I was born here, but I was raised sort of speaking Polish at home as a young child. I went to Polish school. I did Polish A-level, Polish GCSE and A-level. And then I went on to university um, where I studied Eastern European studies. Um, I spent a short time in Warsaw in my 20s. Then I became um, a, a lawyer, a Crown Prosecutor. And then much later, when I had my children, I began writing about food. So started a food blog um, and started to kind of delve in a bit more, I'd say, into my cultural heritage through food writing. And here I am today. <laughs>